Hello, welcome to this Wasabi Cloud Storage and Veeam Scale Out Backup Repository or Sober demo. My name is Neil Simpkins. I'm a senior systems engineer for Wasabi in the UK. So there are many different types of backup you can do uh, with Veeam and Wasabi. You could do a direct to Wasabi backup. You could do a backup copy job. But what we're going to concentrate on today is a Sober, a Scale Out Backup Repository. So for this demo, we're going to, um, I've already got a bucket created that we'll just go through um, quickly. Then we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you my uh, local repository that again, I've already pre-created, ready to go. Um, we're going to add in a Wasabi repository. We're then going to link the local and the um, cloud repositories together using a scale out backup repository. And then we'll just create a backup job to show you how you select the uh, the scale out repository for use. So we'll go ahead with the demo. The first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of myself because the only person that really wants to see me normally is my mother. Um, so let's just get rid of that. There we go. And we will crack on with the demo. So the first thing we're going to do is create ourselves a bucket. I've logged into the Wasabi console. So up here on the right is the create bucket button. I'm going to go and give this one a name. Uh, let's go for NS um, Veeam. Oh, hang on. Veeam uh, Sober. Let's go for that. Actually, let's not go for that. Let's go for NS Sober. Uh, capacity. There we go. NS sober capacity. So let's pick the region that I want the bucket in. I'm going to go for London because that's uh, my closest region. Now, if I hit the next button here, it's going to ask me the questions around versioning, logging, and object locking. Um, I don't want to do object locking on this. Obviously, you can. You can look up uh, Veeam with object lock and see the uh, what that gives you. For this demo, I'm not going to enable object lock because I want to be able to delete it afterwards. So we'll just go next and create the bucket. So here we go. We've got our NS Sober Capacity Bucket. So what I'll do now is I'll drop into the Veeam console. Uh, I've already got a repo set up that I was using earlier for something else. But we're going to go ahead and create two repositories. Uh, one local, that's going to be our performance repository. And then one connected to the bucket that we just created. Once I've done that, we'll join them together in a scale out repository. And then see if we can do a backup. So let's just go and hit the add repository button up here. Uh, so the first one I need to do is just create the uh, on-premises repository. So let's just call this our uh, sober performance. That will do, sober perf. Um, and now I just need to um, go next here, browse to the folder that I'm going to use. So that's just a local folder. It's under E and it's called NS Sober Perf. So we're going to use that folder. Um, everything else can stay the same for now. Yes, that's fine. Next, next, and finish, really, on this bit. So this will start very quickly just creating the structure on that, uh, on that local performance folder, and we're done. So here we go. I've got my local uh, performance repository on my uh, local disk, on my E drive. So the next thing I need to do is add in my object storage, my Wasabi object storage uh, bucket. So again, we go to add repository. Now, because I am, uh, sorry, I click on the object storage tab, sorry, down here, the bottom one. Now, because I'm on version 12 of Veeam, I get the uh, the logo here, the Wasabi logo. That was really, uh, really cool. Um, if you're prior to version 12, so if you're 10 or 11, then you have to just use the S3 compatible um, option at the top here. But anyone who's uh, on version 12, you'll notice that we've actually now been included as a logo on the object storage tab. So that uh, makes it a lot easier. I can just click on the Wasabi storage. Um, and we'll name this uh, this repository. So if you remember, we had sober perf for our uh, performance. Let's go for sober uh, capacity for our capacity uh, repository. 
Now, region here, because uh, I'm in the UK, I am EU West 1. And now this is where we would put in our credentials uh, from the Wasabi uh, console or, or for the user that you're using. Um, you just go ahead and put the access key and the secret key in to, uh, to save your credentials. I've already done that, so I'm going to use uh, the ones that I saved 160 days ago. So there we go. What that will do now when I hit next is it will talk to Wasabi. It will check the credentials, the access key and the secret key, and providing that they're both okay, it will just accept that and move us through to allow us to select the bucket. So there we go. So now I can browse to the bucket that we created. So that was NS Sober Capacity. Um, and we'll go ahead and create a folder uh, on there, just a new folder, and I'm just going to call that folder Backups. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, if I was using immutability, this is where I would set the number of days that I want my backups immutable for. Um, and you can go ahead and look at the documentation on our knowledge base on uh, immutability with Veeam uh, to understand more about uh, what it means and what it gives you. So on next here, yep, I'm going to keep all that the same. On to the review, hit the apply button. Again, this one will probably take a, a, a minute longer. Um, just because it's uh, it's not local, it is talking to the uh, to the Wasabi bucket. And once that's finished, we'll go ahead and we'll see that we've got our local repository created and our uh, so the local one is our performance repository, and we also have our Wasabi repository, which we will be our capacity repository. So, just finishing off here. Just take a few more seconds. And then we'll be ready to rock. So there we go. That's finished creating the uh, repository. We'll hit next and finish. And now we've got our two repositories, our performance repository and our capacity repository. So what we'll do now is we've gone to scale out repositories. We need to link them together. So we'll do the add scale out repository wizard um, by clicking this button up here. Uh, I'll leave the name. I don't need to change that for this demo. So scale out backup repo one. Um, so I need to add in my performance tier. So I click the add button and I'm going to choose the performance tier that I created in the first step. And then I'm going to go on to uh, capacity tier. So I'll click the extend scale out backup repository capacity with object storage tick box. And then I will choose the um, capacity repository that we just created. Now we have the options around how we actually want to move data to the capacity tier. So the first one you'll see ticked says move backups to the object storage as they age out. So what this is going to do is it's going to back up locally. And then when the backups get older than 14 days, it will uh, move the, uh, the oldest one out to um, Wasabi. What I want to do, I'm actually going to cut that down to three for this. Um, but you'll notice as well, we've got this top box. This is copy backups to object storage as soon as they are created. Now, I want this to happen because for my backups, I want them to back up locally and I instantly want to get a copy sent out to Wasabi. So I know I've got a secure and safe copy. If I lose anything on premises, I know that I've got everything backed up to Wasabi. If I leave this unticked, what's actually going to happen is it will back up the first three days locally. Then when it gets to day four, it will move the first backup uh, the backup from day one out to Wasabi. So I could potentially lose three days worth of backups if I lost my on-premises repository. So by ticking this box means that I'm definitely going to get an instant copy of everything out to Wasabi. And then this will still happen. So I'll still keep three days locally and then that will age out as it goes over the three days. So I'm happy I've got those both ticked. And I'll go ahead and click the apply button. What that will now do is create our Scalite backup repository by linking those two um, standard repos together, the uh, performance repository and the capacity repository. So there we go. That's finished creating the repository. So I'll hit the finish button. Um, and here we are. We've got our Scalite backup repository ready to go. So I'll go ahead now um, and I'll just create a backup job. I'll do a virtual machine for this. Um, I'll just call it backup job one. I'm happy with that. Um, 
So let's pick what I'm going to back up. I think I've got a couple of small Linux boxes here. Let's go for the let's go for the Debian one that's turned off at the moment. So let's just add that in. Um, now, when it says backup repository, this is where I'll change on the drop down and I'll change it from my local repository to my newly created scale out repository. Um, I decide how many days retention I want, so I'm quite happy with seven days. And I can also choose if I want to do grandfather, father, son here. Um, if I wanted to keep some, uh, let's say, four weekly backups, you know, stand, standard thing that most people go through. No, I don't want 23. Neil, come on, 12. Um, and one yearly backup. So I could go ahead and create a grandfather, father, son schedule as well. Uh, if I want to. I'm not going to do that. I'll just keep my normal standard seven days uh, restore points. And I'll go ahead and just click next, next, next through. I don't want to run this automatically. Obviously, this is a demo, so I'll delete this uh, straight afterwards. But I will run the job now. Uh, so I'll just hit the finish button. And what that's going to do, it'll create the backup job. And then it will just start running uh, and writing data through. I'll stop the recording now. We'll come back in a minute just to show that the recording has, uh, sorry, that the backups happened. And it's also um, s sent a copy of the backup job directly out to the uh, the Wasabi repository. So I'll stop now and we'll come back in a few minutes. Hello, welcome back. I uh, managed to grab a bit of lunch while that was backing up, which is nice. So here we are. Um, so as we left it, our backup was running. We've now finished our backup job. It's actually these two on the top. Uh, on today's date the 31st so you can see we did our full backup job with success um, and then as soon as that completed we did a backup offload um, which went off to our um, Wasabi cloud storage so there we go um, so quick recap so backup repositories created both of our repositories our performance uh, on-premise repository and our capacity repository with uh, Wasabi then we created our Scalite backup repository, which basically linked those two together and set some policies around that. And then we went ahead and did a backup using the uh, Scalite backup repository. And we saw that the backup was created successfully and then offloaded to the um, uh, capacity tier. So there we go. We'll leave that to the, today. Um, we're going to do another video in a minute around a backup copy job. Um, so there we go. Um, hope you have a great day. Goodbye.